Born in 1926, Dr. Sailapati retired as the Dean of the Tirunelveli Medical College. He is up next with intriguing stories about his love for music, cinema and good old Madras. Music and cinema were two things Dr. Sailapati was most crazy about as a kid in the 1930s. He would mop the floor, run to the store and help his mother with little household chores in return for a few annas for his movie ticket. My craze for cinema was so much that I used to go all the way by walking to Prabhat Takis at Broadway to see witness said Yambas Vilakshmi as Northern, the famous Savitri picture in which a North Indian actor, actress Santa Opte acted and the charge was for the foreigners lost seat with benches with no backs. That was the craze for seeing films those days. In the 1940s, Dr. Sailapati and his family moved to Tinagar. He recollects how houses at that point of time had little underground rooms that served as bomb shelters. And whenever the siren sounded, they had to switch off all lights and run below for safety. Chennai was bombed by Japanese and whole city of Midas was evacuated. And I went to Kohl Petty and Daily, I'll come to the Pol Pot station to make further inquiries from the passengers whether the city was bombed again because there was not much of communication at those days. And after everything was over, I came back to Madras. Till the city was empty, I got to continue my college studies. I went to Laila College, which is a prestigious institution at the time. And I was easily I was admitted there, and because and it was a it was a blessing in disguise for me to have got admitted, and that lifted me up in life. Post his intermediate at Loyola, Dr. Sailapati went on to do his MBBS at the Madras Medical College. Looking back, Dr. Sailapati feels college was a breeze from start to finish and pities the numerous hurdles students have to cope with today. I got admitted in Madras Medical College in the year 1946 very easily. There was no interview, there was no cutoff marks and it was so easily I just met the principal, paid a fees. And at that time, there is a dress regulation for the medical students. They have to have a tie, they have to have boots, they should wear pants with shirts tucked in. And I used to cycle from Tinegar to the Madras Medical College with, the, with this dress. It was irksome. But subsequently, as I went through the College studies, everything got relaxed, and things are much different nowadays. You can wear a slack and attend the college. On completing his MBBS, Dr. Sailapati left Madras in the 1950s and never had the opportunity to work in the city after that. Coming back in 1992, after nearly three decades away from Madras, Dr. Sailapati felt a little bit like Rip Van Winkle, who'd woken up to find the world around him completely changed. When I came back to Madras, after retirement in the year 1985, I found there is a thorough change in the Madras. Most of the avenues, the all trees have been cut down, and there is so much of traffic and the population has nearly doubled with no facilities, everywhere there is rush. And I feel that the city needs planning. 
and to so that people can breathe good air and live a better life. Well, given the circumstances, I guess most of us have to move out of the city to get a whiff of fresh air. But then, there's another problem. I hear that the water in the outskirts of Chennai, where new properties are being planned, is not even fit for watering plants. Well, as Dr. Sailapati said, I guess the authorities have a lot of planning to do. Anyways, that's a wrap on this week's show. But if you have an interesting story that we could use, do mail us at feedback at ndtv-hindu.com. Till next week, take care.